coverage you can count on continues with Drew Blair. Economic uncertainty, that's what many of us are expecting for the new year. And will the battle between Republicans and Democrats continue in the fight over the debt, or will they be able to come to a compromise? Well, here to explain some things that we should expect in 2012 is Nick Schumann with Hefty Wealth Partners. Thanks so much for coming in again My this morning. My pleasure, yeah. Thanks for having me. Well, as it did in this past year, should we expect Europe to play a major role in the world economies in this coming year? Definitely. No doubt about it. Uh, the bottom line with Europe is there are, there are problems with Europe, and they are not solved yet. So what we saw this year was uh, a week where we, we felt okay. Europe was on the path to being fixed. And then the next week was Europe was going down the tubes and everything was in shambles. That is going to be much of the same for 2012 until there is something that's a little bit more concrete or something that's a little bit more substantiated as far as a solution goes, it's going to continue to play a, a role in the volatility that we see. So what I, what I would say people shouldn't do is get lulled to sleep with this, though. You, you keep hearing the repeated headline, and it might start to have the effect like you would with a, um, the boy who cried wolf. You just start mm -hmm. to, oh, that's just another, it's just Europe in the news. It can be big, and it really can be bad. On the flip side, if they find something good, it might actually spark something good here in our financial market. So keep your eye on it. And fingers uh, crossed. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Unfortunately, expect more of the same. Okay. Well, back at home, of course, we're expecting it's a big election year. How does that play a role in economics? It is a huge election year. The uh, United States alone has the, you know, obviously, the president, Congress. We have some big elections in 2012. <clears throat> but also for a global perspective, there are four major economies that have a president being replaced in 2012. United States, we mentioned that one, but also Russia, China, and France. These are all major global players. So what I would do with, um, is just don't get fixated on the, on the elections here. Remember, it is global. Everything is interconnected on a global scale. I, I don't know that people can necessarily say, it's an election year, it's probably going to be okay. They're going to do whatever they can to keep things safe, secure, so they can get their job back. Remember, 2008 was an election year, and the markets were awful. So again, I'm just going to say be vigilant um, and, and, and watch out. But also remember that it is, it, there's, there's more things going on globally, too. All right, let's think big picture here. That's great, yes. Okay, so what about the debt debate in Washington? New Year, same roller coaster? <laughs> it's not going away. <laughs> Um, beginning of next year, and actually it started to, to kind of crop up here recently. I was on before where we talked about the, um, the extending of the national debt. Uh, can, can, right. we, can we increase that? And I said it's going to be more of the same. We're going to just keep pushing that back sometime beginning of next year. They've got to do it again. You know, the August talks only kicked it back was four or five months, and it's going to be coming up again. We're going to have more of the same with that. So that's kind of the theme here to expect in 2012. Okay, well, Nick, I wish we had more time, yes. but we do have to wrap up. And I know with a roller coaster year ahead of us, we'll be seeing more of you on First News Weekend, I'm sure. Sounds Thanks for great. coming in. Yep, my pleasure.